Hello drivers, what a day! Ubisoft just officially announced a TV live series adaptation of the driver video game series. I must say I was not expecting this to happen and I'm sure I am not the only one, but it is such great news for the driver community to get something driver related that can give the series as a whole a lot of new exposition in the future. Sure, it's not a video game, but let's remember that it has been more than 10 years since the last installment in the series, without taking into account Driver Speedboat Paradise. Now, the announcement itself is a bit weird, because if you look at the pictures that comes with the official announcement on the Ubisoft website, well, you can clearly see that it's a Driver San Francisco artwork with the collaboration between Ubisoft and Binge.com put on it. You can also notice that the design of the collaboration follows the visuals uh, of the two lines that started with driver party lines, so there is at least some form of continuity. So as I said, it's a collaboration between Ubisoft and Binge.com, which is a new streaming platform that is planned to launch in 2022, and Driver is set to be one of the first series to be aired on this free streaming platform according to the Ubisoft article, so stay tuned. Of course, it is not Netflix, so we can assume that it is not going to be uh, with the same budget that the, the Division uh, or Assassin's Creed adaptation that is also uh, in the plan at Ubisoft and it might not also get the same amount of viewers since it's a new platform but uh, we are talking about Driver and today in 2021 Driver does not have the same value uh, as the Assassin's Creed franchise or even the Division that are huge so it's uh, kind of normal to see them on Netflix uh, while Driver is on uh, a new platform but let's remember again that it has been more than 10 years since the last installment so at this point getting anything driver related uh, is very welcomed at least uh, on, in my opinion and also the fact that it, uh, it is a new platform means that it is a platform that has everything to prove so maybe they are going to be closer to the formula of the driver series and uh, they are more willing to perform so uh, we can hope that the series uh, even with a lower budget will still uh, be a good one because uh, the driver series is very simple if you think about it it's a tv show experience but in a video game and that might be the biggest issue with the series having a lower budget is the stunts because uh, you can't in my opinion do a driver series uh, without car chases and maybe car accidents and that's where the main concern uh, will be put because as Jean-Sébastien Decon mentioned on Twitter uh, let's hope that we will get more uh, practical stunts than CGI, CGI because uh, the spirit of the driver series is uh, inspired by the old movies that of course used only practical stunt and in my opinion uh, practical stunt looks better uh, that was also the case for Run the Gauntlet that was the driver tree uh, live action promo which was using practical stunts so finger crossed that uh, at beach.com they will also use and see the spirit of the driver series uh, but at the moment we don't have uh, anything else to share about uh, what will be the driver life adaptation uh, beside the fact that it will feature John Tanner and it will be about undercover stuff in a syndicate so in a crime syndicate so at least the premise are looking good now it feels a bit weird to announce uh, the series the tv series uh, without uh, any artwork because they reused uh, driver san francisco as i said at the beginning but well m maybe because there is a video game but i mean i, I don't know but uh, yeah, uh, no, I'm not sure to, to understand why they reused uh, an artwork from the video game uh, or, or maybe because they don't have anything else to show but then uh, why uh, announcing it uh, today because well, nobody was expecting it so they could have 
wait a few more days or weeks to get some new materials but well I, I guess we will get more info about it uh, in the coming weeks and of course uh, I will share that with you if that's the case and on my side I'm very very happy about this news because of course it can be very bad at the end but uh, Ubisoft was very silent about the driver series for years so now suddenly they come back with a TV series adaptation so uh, I prefer to be positive and optimistic about what it will become and of course if that's successful and the critics are good as the show will be uh, we can hope that it will show Ubisoft what the driver community wants but also more than the driver community and the people at the moment, if you look at the reaction on the social medias, uh, sometimes they are good, sometimes they are very bad because, well, they don't want a TV series, they want a video game, but uh, to be honest, uh, it makes me remember the uh, shift features announcement where people were really disliking the fact that it was in a coma and stuff like that, as I said in my 10th anniversary video, by the way. But I prefer to stay optimistic, as I said. Anyway, what do you think about the TV live series adaptation of the Driver video game series? Please tell me that in the comments. And uh, I, once again, uh, my opinion is that uh, it will uh, have the occasion to put a driver back on the map. So it's very great uh, if the driver community can embrace the Ubisoft uh, announcement of a TV live series adaptation but of course uh, you are entitled to your opinion and if you tell me that in the comments I uh, will read it with pleasure uh, let me thank my current Red River producers uh, DriverDimension.com French Contact Neurosins um, <laughs> who, who else uh, Paul Lanois uh, Alf520i and uh, even if it's not a producer, thanks to Burrito uh, to join the driver club as a undercover officer. Uh, thank you, Burrito, and to all my viewers. Uh, see you soon, drivers. You feel like this is the definitive driver? You feel like you've achieved everything you've set out to do? I feel like we've more than achieved everything we set out to do. I don't think feel it's the definitive driver because the definitive driver is always going to be closer and closer and closer to the realism of a Hollywood movie car chase and, and it can always be more realistic and there can always be uh, you know the, a, a more uh, photo realistic looking environment it can uh, you know but that requires more power what I can tell you is we've absolutely maxed out what we can do with these machines um, the uh, basically I mean they're uh